Did you know 4,472 churches and Christian buildings were attacked last year? In the UK, that could have been Maybridge. And for the month of November, we are focusing on Open Doors, who are one of our global partners. <clears throat> Over 340 million Christians suffer persecution and discrimination. They follow Jesus, no matter the cost. In the UK, I don't think we can grasp how much freedom we currently have and be able to practice a belief, let alone have one. If you are a Christian, we will be persecuted. If you are a Christian, then when a part of the body hurts, we all hurt. We support Open Doors because, with your help, we can serve our persecuted brothers and sisters by bringing them resources, hope and, and our prayers. Now there have been a lot of things to pray for recently, but we're told to pray without ceasing. So to start the month, let's unite in praying for our family who are being persecuted for what they believe in. Please join us on Sunday the 7th of November for the International Day of Prayer, a special day of unity with the global church as we stand together with the most persecuted and cry out to God. Go to the website to register. We believe that when God's people unite together, in prayer, God's kingdom breaks through in new and powerful ways. Walls break down, strongholds are demolished, policies are changed and people are saved. Now we'll get all the latest news, testimonies, in addition, following the most recent news of Afghanistan being taken over by the, by the Taliban, we will collectively get updates on how this is impacting the small number of Christians there and together lift them up in prayer. Come along, even if it's just to be inspired by other Christians around the world and get a taste of the risk they are taking for Jesus.